Hey everybody, so I wanted to come here today and show you the dinner that I'm making. Tonight I am going to make, it's called a quick and easy chicken pot pie in my microwave, in my MicroPro grill. Um, the MicroPro grill is our newest um, microwave cooking device. Yes, it does have metal on this and it does go in your microwave. Isn't that crazy? So what we have here is we have a hot plate here on the bottom and here on the top. And these are going to, once you're in your microwave, in the first two minutes it's going to reach 425 degrees and it's going to stay there cooking your food evenly. We have a casserole setting so you can make any kind of casseroles or um, cobbler desserts or you have a grill setting which the food the hot plates rest down right on your food so you can make a grilled cheese in about four minutes. Um, I've made steaks and pork chops any kind of um, casserole Blueberry cobbler, apple cobbler is just simply incredible. But today I'm going to take um, just a rolled pie crust and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bottom. And this is completely non-stick. You never want to use cooking spray in your MicroPro. It will actually will avoid your warranty. Um, and it's so incredible. It literally just um, wipes out perfectly clean with absolutely no problems. Um, I've never had anything stick in there. So what I did here is I just put my pie crust right here on the bottom and then we are going to take a bowl I'm sorry I'm reading my instructions as we go since this is the first time I have done this so we are going to take two cans of chicken and I'm just going to show you our can opener our can opener you're going to have no sharp edges on the can or the, the, the top at all so you just lock it into place and turn and then once you feel a little release, you know that it's done. It's so easy that my daughter actually can do this by herself as well. And then I don't have to worry about her cutting herself with that super sharp um, lid. I think I went around already. So then we're going to take this. actually has a little, a little spot right here, if you can see that. And you can just lift it up if you want. Or you can grab on to that. And do you see that? It just lifted right off. So I am going to rinse this one real quick. I'll be right back. Just draining it, not rinsing. And then I'm going to dump that in my bowl. Called for two cans of chicken. And I could have made regular chicken as well. I did open this one earlier. Um, but just wanted to show you, you can see I'm not getting cut at all. Same here. And a cool actually little trick is if you were to wash this out I'm going to say this because my daughter might be hearing me and listen or learn my secrets. But let's say you have like cash you don't want anybody to find or maybe you've got some candy that you don't want the kiddos to find. Um, you can put that right back on top. You can't even see that it's ever been opened. Once it's clean, put it in your cupboard. Nobody's going to grab, maybe you pick refried beans or kidney beans, something you know the kiddos are never going to do it. And you got your own little stash. Um, and then I also have a can of cream of chicken soup, but you can see it actually has the little pull top. But you know what? Honestly, I still don't ever do that because I don't want to end up risking somebody in my family getting cut when they take the garbage out. Because a lot of times it is my daughter that takes the garbage. Um, and I wouldn't want her to get cut when she's um, trying to get it out of, the, out of the garbage can. So, and the great thing as well is now that I have a soup and you know sometimes they're a little tougher to come out. They don't always come out. I don't have to worry about cutting my spatula um, on the can anymore because now it has absolutely no sharp edges. So that's really nice. Okay, what do we got here? This silicone spatula is pretty nice. It actually is heat resistant up to, I think it's 400 degrees. So you can use it stirring on your stove, not have to worry about it um, melting like like some of the other ones that I've had in the past that I have melted in my, in my my on my stove. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this stuff out of the way here real quick. I'm actually gonna grate some cheese. Well, actually let's throw in our frozen veggies. I did call for 12 to 16 ounces of frozen veggies, so I just found a, a mix, a mix of vegetables, and I'm just going to dump that in my bowl, and then we're going to grate some cheese. Um, I actually grate all my cheese now because I have learned that grated cheese that you buy in the store obviously is going to have lots of fillers and stuff in it because otherwise, how would it last so long, right? So I'm just going to lock this on my counter. And what's nice is you can see, I could literally lift my island probably up before that's going to break the suction. 
Um, and I've got about four different cone sizes that I can choose from as well. But anyways, the grated cheese actually has an ingredient in it called cellulose. Um, and what cellulose is, is it's actually, um, it's in wood pulp. It's, I think it actually is like a wood pulp. And the thought of that, eating that in my cheese is pretty gross. So it's actually really easy and it's actually cheaper in the long run if you buy your own block cheese and grate it yourself. So this is actually our great master. And I want to show you this. This is our cheese knife. I want to show you just how easy this is to cut through. And now this is sharp cheddar, so it's a pretty hard cheese. And with a typical knife, sometimes they get stuck. But this one is seriously, it just cuts through it like butter. And then it doesn't stick to my knife. It's, that is so slick. Okay, so I'm going to take my chunk of cheese here. Which, actually, I need to readjust this. I'm going to take a bowl. And this is another one that's super easy to do, and it's actually fun for the kids, is to grate your cheese. So I'm just going to push down on the top, and as you can see, it's already coming out. And I've got my fine cone on, the, on in here today. The grater you can use for your veggies, your fruits, even your frozen fruits. Um, you can also do your potatoes in there. Um, we can even use it for ice and make your own snow cones. Um, and it does not damage the blades. I have had my grater for two years almost now, and my, as you can see, I'm cutting cheese just fine with absolutely no problems. So I'm just going to shake that out a little bit. And it calls for, I've got a little bit, probably more than I need, it calls for half a cup of cheese. So I'm just going to go ahead and just take a handful or so and just pop it in there and say, yep, that's about a half. And I'll stir that up. You can see that. So it's got the can of cream of chicken, two cans of white meat chicken drained, um, the frozen veggies, and half a cup of cheddar cheese. And then this is just going to go right on top of that pie crust. So super easy. What a quick meal, too. And like I said, I could have done regular chicken. I could have steamed some chicken or boiled chicken, however it is that you like to cook it. Um, about one and a half pounds of chicken breast cut up is what, what you want for this recipe. And we're just going to pat it down. Sorry if you can't see that. It's actually a lot of food packed in there. It looks yummy. And then I'm going to take the next pie crust, my last pie crust, That goes over the top. Just do the top one and try. Okay. So we're just gonna put it all around the edge here, and looks like we're gonna have a little bit extra to trim off here too. We don't want too much. Well. Yep, we're going to have a little bit extra here. And if you could see right now, I actually have our dog, the boxer, and she's sitting here thinking, I wonder if she's going to drop, drop anything down for me. Typical dogs, right? And then you just, well, of course, you're going to want to vent it, so we'll just cut a little cute little X on, on the top here so it has the steam can remove. And as you can see, there it is. Now it does say to put it in the casserole position, and so there is little arrows on here that tell you which one's a casserole and which one's the which one's the grill. So yep, that was a casserole. And I'm gonna put this in my microwave for nine to twelve minutes and let it rest. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you just what it looks like. Okay everyone, so the microwave is just getting ready to go off, and we will check our pot pie and see how it looks. So oh, there we go. So now you will want to know that the this is silicone handles and they can get hot if they're in there for a while. But most of the time, it's still able you're still able to take it out without pot holders. It is a little warm, um, not overly hot. And then we're just going to I wish there was smell of vision here because this smells incredible. The top is a little bit warmer. I'm actually going to grab a pot holder because I did put mine in for 12 minutes. So just about anything over 10, it starts getting a little toasty. But I could have done it. I just want to go slow so you can see it. Um, oh my goodness, look at that. See? No sticking. It is so amazing. 
I just want you to take a peek at that. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Ooh, 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 I'm gonna spill. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go, and then once I cut into this, and I will actually take a picture and I will put it in the comments.